Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you what I do when I have some parts or units I'm going to decommission and get rid of, basically send to the recycling center. I'm going to show you what I salvage from these units. Uh, first thing is the power cords. Power cords are very, very useful. So when I'm working with these, these are the, that's the first thing to go is the power cord. So this is a main board from a Sony cassette deck. And uh, when I opened up the lid, I saw a few things that I wanted to take off this board. Uh, I'll go through them here. So first things are the transistors slash MOSFETs. Pretty useful, like they're plentiful out there, but I like having the original ones just so I don't have to cross-reference anything. Um, ICs, again, same story. Some of them are getting really difficult to find if you can find them at all. Um, other things uh, at the back there, I'll go up to in a second here. The, the RCA inputs and, uh, you know, the mini jacks for the headphones or whatever. Uh, I'd like to harvest those, too, if they're in good shape. And uh, I just keep a good stockpile of them. And you never know when you might need one. So I'm just going to go through and desolder all the selected parts off the board. Uh, gather them up into a nice pile. Now, usually when it's, like, slow in the shop or it's a rainy day or I just want something else to do, I usually will take an inventory of these things after I've stockpiled them all into a container and uh, reference them by, you know, the part number, uh, model number, whatever the case may be, just so I have it for easy lookup if I ever do need it. It's always nice to know that, you know, you can just look up somewhere on a spreadsheet and, oh yeah, I've got this part, and then just go ahead and pull it. Saves a lot of time, you know, looking on AliExpress or something for it. So I'll move on to some of the bigger parts here that I salvaged from the unit. Basically, the like a cassette, uh, if you t see the back here in a second, there's plenty of good parts that come off of it. Uh, you know, there are such things like the motor that's always handy to have, uh, capstans, uh, the wheels, uh, any of the gears on the inside. The solenoid is pretty useful. Uh, the main board of the, of the deck is, it's got plenty of little micro switches and stuff on it. Uh, the heads I keep, everything is everything is reused at some point. Um, it, it's just, you can't find these things really easily anymore, especially things like something as simple as a capstan, uh, or, or sorry, a pinch roller. Uh, they're really hard to find, and when you do find them, they take forever to get to where you are. Uh, like me, I'm in North America, so and I've been waiting for some to come in, specific size, for almost since November, and it's now April. So, yeah, quite a few things to collect on, uh, on, a, on a cassette deck here. And then other things, again, I mentioned like things like pots and real stats before. Knobs, especially knobs. Uh, you can never have enough knobs. Uh, they'll come in handy at some point in time. Vacuum fluorescent displays, now it's it's really good if you have an exact same model that has a broken display and you need to swap it out. And they don't take up that much room, so I, I try to keep those too, just in case. Because it'll be the one time you go to replace it and you don't have one and you can't find one from China or wherever. So usually what I do is I just pull everything in together to a, a, a bin. And like I said earlier, I go through and sort it at a later point in time when I have a lot of time to go through everything and catalog it all. One thing you'll end up with a lot of are screws. Screws of every kind, of every shape and size. Uh, there's no harm in keeping these. I'm going to have to get a bigger bin sooner or later, but I have a hard time throwing away screws. Uh, they're always good to have um, a nice plentiful supply. Moving along to another unit, this is a um, a pine no sorry a Panasonic uh, home theater amplifier that was decommissioned. Um, so things that come out of here are the fan. Uh, sometimes you might take the transformer, but this transformer is huge and it weighs a ton, and I really don't foresee using it any time in the future. There's lots of um, relays. There's the uh, heat sink. Is always good to have if you need an extra one. 
the main amplifier ICs, uh, the not so much the capacitors. The big capacitors, you might want to check them out. If they're good and they're in spec, then keep them. If not, no sense in keeping them. Uh, the larger components, like the high power diodes, are always good. Uh, the flex cables. Um, anything you think you might be able to use at some point in time, by all means take it. Especially if it doesn't weigh anything or it doesn't take up a lot of room, you might want to consider keeping it, just so you have it on hand. That's going to wrap it up for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.